Another level-based classification is done by the clinicians on the basis of the severity of the symptoms. With level 1 autistics requiring minimal clinical support, level 2 requiring mediocre clinical support, and the level 3 autistics requiring maximum clinical support. No matter the type of autism, the symptoms start to manifest within the first three years after birth. As hopeless as it may seem, there is no substantial cure for autism. Physicians sometimes recommend antidepressant medications with physical and mental training sessions for the autistics to adapt to the normal world. But none of these therapies have shown 100% efficiency. In my opinion, autism is just a different way to perceive our reality. We just process the stimuli around us differently than others and that can be a promising statement to develop an efficient therapy to treat severe forms of autism. A team at UCLA is already working on this project where they have seen that just by changing the stimuli of observable reality, the autistic features can be normalized. So you see, we're not sick or have a disease. We're just different and I believe that whatever makes you different makes you special. And I believe that I have been bestowed with this amazing gift called autism. Think I'm crazy? If you are autistic, just ask yourself, how many times have your anti-boredom painting turned out to be a masterpiece? How many times the instrument you play just to calm yourself has mesmerized the others around you? Moreover, how many times have you raised your hand and solved a problem that others can only dream of solving? Don't believe me yet? Some autistics have superpowers in the form of Savant Syndrome in which they can do supercomputerized calculations in their minds, like guessing the exact day on a specific date a thousand years from now. In other cases, they have a super strong short and long-term memory, due to which they can memorize numerous facts, patterns and details with clinical precision. Still don't believe me? Do you know what relates Isaac Newton, Mozart, Charles Darwin, Nikolai Tesla, Albert Einstein? It's autism. Yeah. You heard me right. They're observed to be showing symptoms that can be closely related to Asperger's. Each and every one of them revolutionized our world in ways that were never thought before. Yes, this world is a tough place. Every day, like my autistic brothers and sisters, I have to struggle hard to pretend to be normal. Every day, there are a lot of people who remind me constantly of the failure I am as a man. Every day, I hurt a lot of people unwillingly. But still, every new day surprises me with the new talents I possess, the new frontiers I can pursue, and with every fight, I become stronger and more resilient. For all those out there like myself, stop judging yourself by what you are not and start defining yourself by what you are. Remember, it is your imperfections that make you what you are. And you are amazing. You have the power to make this life a beautiful adventure. Those who try to imprison you by their so-called standards of perfection are just ignorant. And it is our responsibility to educate them. For those who have people like me around them, hug them whenever they panic. Hugs give us a sense of abundance and fulfillment and is scientifically proven to calm autistics. From me, to all the autistics around the world, I feel your pain and I accept you all for who you are because I have embraced myself for what I am. If being abnormal makes me special, then this abnormality is a blessing. I'm an autistic and this is my story.